Oh, it's cranky. Hungry. You're not hungry? Okay, you don't have to eat. <laughs> I'm Hannah and I'm the world's okayest mom. Now, ever since I had my second kid, I feel like date nights have totally gone out the window. But at this point, he's three years old, so I have no excuse. It's time to bring them back. But I get that guilt of a working parent where I'm gone five days a week and leaving my kids longer than I already do just makes me feel super guilty. And plus, if I had to plan a date night, I wouldn't even know where to start. So I wanna try something that I think will be fun for the whole family. I'm gonna let my kids plan my date night start to finish. Now, it could be four hours of just straight playing Legos, or it could actually be something really fun. As long as it's not watching Caillou, I'm cool with it. So let's see what they say. I don't think my kids quite know what a date actually is. I think Jackson's idea of a date comes from Disney movies. And in those, the date consists of the woman dressing up in a ball gown and there's like magic and sparkles and some fairy godmother blesses her with a wand to like make everything come to life. It's very over the top. Wyatt's idea of a date is probably like a sword fight or something, like he doesn't know anything. Have you guys given any thought to our date night? No. What do you think? First no. you go to Chuck E. Cheese, then Chuck you go cheese. to the park, then you get ice cream, then you watch Adventure Time. All of that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What do I wear to something like this? There's a lot of games. There are a lot of games to play, huh? And there are a lot of toys. A lot of toys? Is Chuck E. Cheese dinner? Ice cream is dinner. Ice cream is dinner too. So Jackson made this little joke about how we should have ice cream for dinner on the date and Wyatt clearly was half listening the whole time but then heard that little end bit and jumped in to remind us all. Ice cream is dessert. No oh. ice cream is dinner. No it's not. Definitely not pleased with that idea and it was not going to happen. Not dinner. You're right. If you guys, that's what you've decided what we're gonna do. But you need to dress up really fancy, fancy because it's a fancy date. Would you, if you had a girlfriend, would you take her to Chuck E. Cheese? Uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> so I have my collagen iPads on right now. So you know I'm taking this very seriously. Now, when I went to get dressed for this date, I really had to uh, reach back in the closet, kind of like behind all my daily wear to bring out something that's a little, fancy up to Jackson's standards. As a mother, I feel like I shop very practically. Everything I buy is machine washable because it's all gonna end up stained. I don't own like cocktail dresses or nighttime outfits because whenever I go to buy one, I have to remind myself that I have nowhere to wear it. But for this, we're going out, got a nice dress, and I put in some effort. I got it together, I got makeup on, ready to go. Matt wow, looks very nice. Ooh. He's very excited. Very excited. We realized that we kind of have to do things out of order because if we go to Chuck E. Cheese first and then the park, it's gonna be pitch black by the time we get to the park and that means it's technically closed. I think they close at sundown. So we're gonna go to the park first, then Chuck E. Cheese, then ice cream, and then we're gonna watch Adventure Time. There's the free swing. Oh, but they're not next to each other. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. This park is full of kids. So our first stop was the park, which was the stop I was least excited for. But we did it, we wanted to make good on this date. So Matt and I went, and we forced ourselves to play on the play equipment. <laughs> He's pushing me. <laughs> oh my god, we are so weird. He's pumping, he's into it. <laughs> we made sure to go on each and every piece of equipment because I thought that that constituted a full park play experience. <laughs> oh my God. Now it never dawned on me until I actually went and tried playing on this play equipment that kids are a lot more dexterous than adults and I felt most embarrassed about the fact that I could barely get through the monkey bars. I can't do that. I can't do it, I'm weak. And it's hard, it's hard to do. Oh. 
I'm a dinosaur. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my god. All aboard. Matt's driving the train. Okay, this is so awkward and like, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if a parent approached us and like asked us to leave. We really stick out right now. And also this park is we're so crowded. We're getting a lot of weird looks. So we're gonna go. This was, this was, this was fun. While at the park, my first priority was just to not make eye contact with anyone or look at any child for too long. We had a couple fun moments. It was all around very awkward, but it wasn't Horrible. So, off to Chuck E. Cheese, because that's not awkward either. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's bright. It's like early bird special dinner at Chuck E. Cheese. I don't even remember what kind of food they serve there. I think they have like pizza, salad. And box wine. Box wine. That's what I'm excited about. That's for sure necessary. I was so hurt and disappointed to find that they eliminated the box wine on tap. The last time I went to Chuck E. Cheese, they had box wine on tap. That was actually my first legal drink, was box wine on tap at Chuck E. Cheese. When did that happen? I didn't see a press release. Uh, oh, mine too. Cheers. Cheers, guys. So I was a little salty about it when I first tried the wine. Devastating. Okay, so we got wings, endless salad bar, two glasses of wine, a play pass. It was like 50 bucks, not bad. Such a madhouse here that literally nobody is noticing that we don't have any kids because it's like full of parents sitting at the tables by themselves while their kids play. So I like, I'm kind of breathing a sigh of relief right now. <laughs> I almost finished my wine already. 20 free tickets for taking a survey. We're gonna play this Batman work. I need, I need a beer. It didn't quite dawn on me until we got there how much fun Chuck E. Cheese is without kids. Usually when we go with the kids, they're playing all the games and I'm just kind of there supervising, eating some pizza. When we went without the kids, we got to play everything. And I was there holding a beer in one hand, playing Batman Whack-A-Mole, just living my best life at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Now, I am inherently competitive, and when it's me and Matt, I have to win. And so the most frustrating part about being at Chuck E. Cheese with him is that he was way better at the games than I was. Oh my gosh. You got 50 tickets. Losing. He was, you know, getting them getting a multitude of tickets. And I'd had a little wine. I I did a couple of things that I'm not proud of. Oh my god, are you really are you taking that ticket? <laughs> so mean. Nobody wanted it. For it. It was fair game. I'm sorry. If you leave your tickets at the game, that's just Chuck E. Cheese code of conduct, rule number six. Thou hast left a ticket, it shall be claimed by the nearest adult. We have almost 200 tickets. I think that's pretty good. Matt and I got super excited at the end when we were picking our prizes. And you know, we wanted to bring something back for the kids. We were excited about picking out something really cool for them. I'm gonna like pass out right now. Can we get two of those rockets? <laughs> it was fun and it probably was partially due to the Chardonnay, but it was still fun. I did not think I'd be so into this. I'm so excited. We got a ball. We're gonna give these to the kids. We're not keeping Dude, these. they're gonna be so sick. We got two rockets, Chuck E. Cheese rockets, two balls, and two spinning tops. Oh my gosh, the boys are gonna be so excited because yeah. they weren't expecting this. I had the best time ever. 
I had the best time ever. Now, after Chuck E. Cheese, all that was left of the kids' date idea was ice cream and adventure time, but... It's 6.30 p.m. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. So we decided to go a little rogue and incorporate a couple grown-up things. Because we're... I was dressed. I had makeup on. We gotta do some more. We were not driving at this point. We left the car at the house and we took a ride share to all of these stops. We were not being irresponsible. We're parents, come on. Okay, so we took a little detour. When I've had a couple glasses of wine, I like to shop. What they don't know won't hurt them. Exactly. We're just expanding on our, on our date. So while we were at the vintage store, I just got completely caught up in this night for us and we're out and oh my gosh, I'm gonna do this forever and we're gonna do this every weekend. So I ended up leaving with this fake fur leopard coat. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is what I got. Yeah, for future dates. <laughs> Okay, so we're walking down the street. This guy comes up to us and is like, do you want to go to a speakeasy? And he's like in front of this dark door. And we say, well, Matt says no. And I say, uh, maybe. And... I didn't say no, I just kept walking. You just kept walking and I was down <laughs> for it. Creepy. I'm in this fur coat. So we ended up getting into this speakeasy. It's really cute. We got some mint juleps. Yeah. I mean, date night has gone off the rails. At the speakeasy, we were able to just sit in a quiet corner and people watch. I mean, I think it's a lot more of our vibe as adult parents. We're not super like, I wanna jump up and down for two hours. You know, you just kinda wanna sit and, and relax. A little cocktail. Last stop of an epic night, ice cream time. I'm a little overdressed. Cheers. Cheers. And finally, at the end of the night, we got home, put on Adventure Time, and within 30 seconds, Matt was passed out completely. And that is a skill that I swear you get when you're a parent. You can just fall asleep anywhere in 30 seconds. I mean, I've seen Matt just fall asleep with a coffee cup in his hand because he needs to. Too much partying. <laughs> I'm not mad at him, I'm right there with him. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna film this and then pass right out myself. I had a lot of fun on our date. You like it? Yes, thank you for planning it. You're welcome. It was really fun. I wanna go back to Chuck E. Cheese more. Does that sound good? Yeah! In the end, after this date, I'm really grateful that I gave my kids the opportunity to do this. I had a blast and it just opened my mind to a whole new perspective of what date night could be. Now, what did I learn? I learned a few things. I learned first that Matt and I can afford to go out a little bit more often. I feel like as parents, the focus is so much on the kids all the time that you lose that connection to each other sometimes and you, you forget to take time for your partner. And so having the date night out of the house and just doing something that was for us really reminded me that I need to do more of it. The second thing I learned was I have a lot more energy than I thought I did. I think being a homebody, it's the effort of motivating myself to go do something that's most of the work. And then once I'm out, I'm there and I'm having fun and I have energy. And so we just ended up going all night and it was awesome. And then third, I'm not even ashamed to say that since that date, we've gone back to Chuck E. Cheese at least three times. This is going to be a regular thing for us and the kids. It is so much fun. And I really think that at the end of the day, this date plan was Jackson's long con to get to go to Chuck E. Cheese more. And it worked. So that's all I got for today. I'm Hannah, and if you have any date ideas, leave them in the comments, or you can text me. This is a real number. I don't always respond because I get a lot of messages, but I do read them all. Now, if you'll please excuse us, we're off to an epic date night at Jackson's Elementary School at Family Dance Night. Can you tell we need date ideas? Please help us. Till next time. Are you ready to rage? Ha, ha, ha.